Hey, what is up guys? Bonfiggy here, and today I'm bringing you guys a pretty beast search and destroy gameplay by Spaz My Dogs. In case you guys didn't know, he actually had to start a new YouTube channel due to some partnership issues. And if it were me, I would want someone to be doing this for me, so I thought I might help him out a little bit and upload this gameplay of his. It's actually a completely solo, unassisted search and destroy moab, so I thought this was definitely a really good gameplay, so only you guys would enjoy. The link to his channel will be down in the description below, and I thought I might just help him out a little bit. Like I said, I wouldn't want this to happen to me, and if it would, I would want someone like me, I guess, to help me out, to get back on my feet, that kind of stuff. But anyways, guys, as you guys know, I was going to be posting a lot of Black Ops 2 early gameplay and that kind of stuff, just things before the release, but it turns out that I was actually risking my channel a lot by doing that. There's been a lot of channels actually getting taken down, so I thought I might just wait and stack up on some videos, so that way, opening day, I can have a bunch of videos to upload for you guys. So that's what I've been doing over the past two days. That's part of the reason why I haven't uploaded, so I just wanted to mention that real quick, but I thought I might talk about Black Ops 2 and give you guys some information. I actually asked for some questions to answer on Twitter about it, anything you guys wanted to know. So I'm going to be answering those, but first of all, guys... I want to know if any of you guys are going to be missing school tomorrow because of Black Ops 2. I have a lot of kids at my school that are actually doing that. And honestly, I think education comes first. I actually did come home early from school today, so I'm not one to talk. I came home early to play a little bit of Black Ops 2, but all I missed was study hall and lunch. But let me know if any of you guys are missing school for Black Ops 2 tomorrow. I'm interested to see that. And also, I'm going to be doing another video later today on some more information on Black Ops 2. So if you guys want to ask me any more questions that you want to know about the game, just make sure to leave them down in the comment section below and I'll get to the best questions or things that I think should get some answers to. Alright, so guys, the first question that I want to answer is, what are the connections like? And this is one of the biggest factors when it comes down to Call of Duty. And in my opinion, at least for me, they have been great. The hit detection has been perfect, but that's because I have good internet. I have a 30 download, 5 upload, and then like a 28 millisecond ping, which is actually pretty doggone good, I guess you could say. I don't know why I said it like that, but uh, yeah, you have some pretty good connections if you have good internet speed, but people like Jay Nasty have been saying that it's absolute shit when you're on a 3 bar. Obviously, I'm on a 4 bar for the majority of the time, so connections aren't too bad of a thing for me. They're actually quite good, I guess you could say but if you do have bad internet I would say that you should upgrade your internet as soon as possible because this game is very connection based you can be behind if you're on a three bar and you'll have a really difficult time killing the enemy so I just want to mention that then the next thing I want to talk about what is the sensitivity like actually they now have a 14 sensitivity is as high as it goes so it definitely is a little bit different I've actually been playing on a 7 sensitivity and I'm normally one of those 3 sensitivity sort of players so it definitely has changed quite a bit if you guys used to play on like a 3 sensitivity try upping it by at least 3 or 4 if you wanted to feel like it did tomorrow for 3 that's just what I have to say about that then the next question is is it hard to level up and it's actually a little bit harder after you get into those higher levels in my opinion because it's just a little bit more of a push it takes a lot longer so that's one of the bad things it's not like one over three where you know there was 80 levels they didn't take a buttload of time to level up once but I can't tell you it is worth leveling it up I'm not really sure if it's gonna be worth prestiging or not I'm not really sure what it does to be perfectly honest with you guys I'm actually level 55 right now and I'm probably gonna be staying at that level because I don't really see a need to prestige as of right now, and I kind of want to keep all my guns and perks and whatnot, all the kill streaks that I have unlocked. So that's what I'm going to be doing for that, and I really don't think it's too hard to level up. It took me about 10 hours of gameplay, which actually isn't that bad for an entire prestige. That's just my opinion. So the next question is, what are the leaderboards based off of? And I'm actually really happy to say that they're actually based off of score per minute, which is definitely better than it was in Modern Warfare 3, where basically if you played the game like a no-lifer, you would pretty much be rank 1, which was definitely uh, not a fair leaderboard system in my opinion. That just shows how much you play the game. Now with score per minute, as you guys know, it's pretty much the exact same as in Black Ops 1. It basically shows how many kills or how much score you can get per minute, so I definitely think that's a lot better, and it's actually pretty cool. I'm ranked in like the top 300 for Black Ops 2 right now, and I know I got the game early and everything and whatnot, but there still is actually quite a bit of people that have the game early. I think there's like 40,000 people on the leaderboard, so I beat out about 39,000 people, which is pretty cool in my opinion, even though the game still isn't out yet or anything like 
like that. But the thing is, there's a lot more tryhards on right now, so I definitely think that is pretty impressive. Then the next question is, and this is probably going to be the last one for this video, is this game the revival of COD? A lot of people are saying that COD was dying out after Modern Warfare 3. And in my opinion, it was, but so far, this game, it seems to be one of the most balanced games to date. There is no death streaks, and it's so weird playing a game where you don't have people falling on their ass every five minutes just to, uh, you know, blob shot you or explode you in Dead Man's hand. So, I definitely think it may actually be the revival of COD. I've actually gotten a few 80-plus kill games already, going for that 100-plus kill game. So, it definitely should be some entertaining gameplay coming up here pretty soon, guys. So, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Make sure to leave some more Black Ops 2 questions down in the comment section below. And I'll try to get another one of these videos out for you guys in a little bit here. So, that's pretty much it, guys. Please be sure to leave the video a like if you did enjoy. I would really appreciate it. And subscribe if you're new to the channel, guys. Also, make sure to check out Spaz My Dogs. His link will be down in the description below. But, yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. Peace out.